Hey everyone, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday, that means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we're gonna to be making some Christmas coasters. I found these two wood cutouts. I believe it, it was at Joann's. I can't remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure it was Joann's. And I thought these are perfect, the perfect size to go into a coaster. One is the um, little VW Bug. The other one's a truck that you've probably been seeing in stores and all over the internet, or at least something similar to it. So I'm just gonna paint them. And I'm gonna stay with traditional colors. I've mixed two ounces of resin and I'm gonna use this really dark blue glitter. I'm gonna pour a bunch right in. Don't be shy with the glitter. And then I'm gonna throw some white in there just to cut it a little bit because it's a really dark blue. So I'm just gonna pour it right into two of the coaster mold cavities here. Let it spread out and do its thing. And then you're gonna to wanna to take your lighter, pop the bubbles. We'll let it sit for about 12 hours and then come back and then put the cars on there and decorate a little bit more. The resin has cured, so I'm gonna put them in right like that. And what I wanna do is add some dimensional fabric paint. And I want this for snow. I've used it on other projects before when I've needed a snow effect. So I'm gonna add it down on the bottom. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take some clear drying glue and paint it on the back of the truck. And I wanna get it all over the back of the truck just so that we don't have a lot of voids down there for bubbles to get into later. Now we'll place it in right into the snow. Then I also have the dimensional glitter paint and we'll put a little bit of that on top too. Now we'll do the same with this one over here. We'll let these both dry then we'll come back. The paint has dried and it shrunk up a little bit, which I expected, but it looks pretty good. And now I wanna put Merry Christmas on the top. And I used my Cricut to do this. You can use stickers instead. They have a lot of glitter stickers out there um, that will work for this just as easily. So I've already cut it out of the silver vinyl, the silver glitter vinyl, and I have the transfer tape on here. I'm gonna peel the transfer tape off. I'm gonna lay it down. My Merry Christmas is on both coasters and now I'm just going to add some more resin and I have mixed one ounce of resin and that's not gonna do everything. This is wood and I just wanna make sure I drip it all over the truck and normally I would seal it, but because it has these little cutout areas, I knew I probably wouldn't get it all the way. Everything sealed as well as I would like to. So I decided that I would do like a thin coat over it right now and I'll let that cure for a while. Um, and that hopefully will prevent any bubbles when we do our final pour. So again, I only did one ounce, but it's basically to seal the wood. And I'll do the same on this one too. And once you get it covered, you could pour the rest in there. But what you are gonna wanna do is for, you know, another hour or so, stay on top of the bubbles. So with your lighter, just come and hit these bubbles. And some are gonna be real small but they're gonna come up for a while. So you wanna just come back, revisit every once in a while, just to make sure you get everything. Once I feel all of the bubbles are under control, I will come back and do the final coat. The resin has cured, not completely, about halfway. So it's still pliable, but it's not especially sticky anymore. And that means the wood pieces should basically be sealed. And I've mixed a couple more ounces of resin, and I think that should probably do it. I'm just pouring it right over. If I need a little more, I can add a little bit more. We'll take our lighter, pop the bubbles, and if it looks like we need a little bit more, I can always add a little bit more. We will let all of this sit for a minimum of 12 hours, and then we'll come back and we'll take them out of their molds. The coasters have cured. All I need to do is pull them right out. And here's the one with the truck. I love the way that they turned out. I'm very pleased. And here's the one with the Volkswagen Bug. So it's a cute set and these images are so popular right now with the vintage cars and the Christmas tree in the back. And I thought I would do my take on it. So I hope you like them and I hope you let me know what you think of them in the comments below. 
thanks guys for being here and watching. I hope you like the coasters. And of course, I hope you give it a try. If you are new here, remember to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you are subscribed and not getting your notifications, be sure to ring the bell down next to the subscribe button twice to be able to receive the notifications when a new video comes out. And remember, you can always find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, or Instagram, all over the place. Those links are all in the comments below too. I will see you next time. Remember, life's too short not to shimmer, so grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe and happy holidays.